You've got it tuned to KEXP. We are listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM and streaming around the world at kexp.org. I want to thank all of our wonderful listeners and viewers for joining us here in the KEXP studio. And I'm here with Margaret Glasby. Welcome. Thank you so much. So happy to have you back. It's been a while and a beautiful new album called Echo the Diamond. I'm excited to hear you perform some songs live from that. Thank you, us too. <laughs> Margaret Glasby, live on KEXP. Take it away. Mad about your dreams and Rip me at the seams like a rag doll And I get Both of my feet wet Crossing the line like a foul ball Well if you can spin me on my head in my mind till I lost my voice and you cupped both of your ears shut rolling your eyes like two
Never have I ever seen something so absurd. Are you a paradise bird? Cause violet shines bright in both your eyes. That can't be natural. Indigo flares out.
You're listening to Margaret Glaspie live on KEXP, playing songs from the new album, Echo the Diamond, except for that wonderful cover.
Margaret Glassby live on KEXP, Echo the Diamond out on ATO Records this past summer, and it's so wonderful to see you. Oh, Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to see you. This is just such a wonderful album, and it sounds like the recording of the record was also a very wonderful experience. You've talked in interviews about getting back to basics, not hiding anything, and you've also said that you worked least hard making this album of any other, <laughs> but you're super happy with both the process and the results. So I'm curious, what, what's changed? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say I, I worked very hard on it, but I think that there was the less, um, you know, I guess people say you don't call it work when you love what you do. Um, so there's certainly a lot of time spent with it, but um, yeah, it really didn't feel like a lot of strain, I would say, with this record. It was really, um, it did feel like there was kind of air passing through the studio, and then all of a sudden we had a record. Um, and I'm not sure exactly, I mean, uh, you know, obviously the people that I worked with with this record are incredibly talented. Um, Dave King is on the drums on the record, and um, uh, Chris Morrissey is on the bass. And they really facilitated a cool environment for me to just be able to play and just do my thing. Um, but I think in the, the process of recording it and writing for it, yeah, there was something that just felt like uh, uh, a, just a kind of acceptance, I think, of what I actually like to do and what I, the reasons why I enjoy making music. And I put all that energy into this one, for sure. It sounds like it was a really great collaborative effort and a small group of really talented singer, songwriters and musicians in this group with uh, David and Chris and your husband, Julian, also co-produced this yes, record. Did. Yeah. And you did it so quickly. Can you talk about that time in the studio and what it was like? I heard a lot of first takes and maybe even a, a one that was just a rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even have a, an official take. Yeah, that song Female Brain on the record was a rehearsal um, that got captured and through the wonderful kind of um, foresight of my partner, Julian. He, he, that was one of his, you know, producer, co-producer moments was just, just keep that one. <laughs> and we kept the rehearsal take of Female Brain. And a lot of the other ones were first takes. Um, yeah, I mean, all of those brains in that room were really specific and wonderful and um, artful. And uh, I think the thing that we all have in common is like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Um, like really, I don't really like to be in the studio, to be honest with you, for very long. I'd like to uh, perform, kind of like take a photo of where the song and the performance is at and then get out <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> so that's my mentality in the studio. And it was really put to work on this record. It was very brief. We were there for three days. It was a three day record. Oh my gosh, what a glorious product that you got out of three days. And of course, time spent um, ahead of time writing the songs. I heard you came in with the songs fully written. And I mean, you're such a so strong 
storyteller and songwriter. And the songs on Echo the Diamond run the gamut of emotions. And especially the way that the record is tracked, I feel like you take the listener on a journey through these emotions. And what was the process of writing these songs like? Do they come from a long time ago or? They're all pretty fresh. I mean, they, they I, I wrote most of the record probably six months before I recorded it. So it was like pretty immediate to that time. Um, there weren't, there wasn't a whole lot of like excavating maybe <laughs> in terms of just, you know, pulling up songs that were around for years. It was mostly pretty true to that time period. So it was a snapshot for sure of, of my life um, as it was at that period. Um, yeah, I, I think maybe part of the, the brevity of writing this record was that it needed to happen for me. Um, it, it was a hard time in my life. Um, and so it was an outlet for sure that I could just plug into music and uh, make, make all those songs be so. And it felt like uh, a necessity rather than a want. It, just, it was a need for sure. I know that I read that the song Memories, where you are processing some grief in your personal life, was difficult to record. Are you able to play that in live shows now? Yeah, I, I play it, and it's still hard, but, it's, but I do it. <laughs> it is great to process grief. A lot of times we want to turn internal, but we've learned on the air, sharing through music with our listeners and opening up that dialogue, that getting it out there can really be a healing thing. Yeah, yeah, and I think... Um, you know, I've had some epiphanies on this tour in particular in touring this record that I've noticed um, just I've gotten to meet fans and things like that afterwards, um, audience members. And, uh, you know, whether people understand the exact stories that it came from or the exact experiences it came from, there's a lot being shared in the room emotionally, I think, at these shows, which is a really particular trait to this tour, I would say. Um, and it's interesting because I'd, I'd say this sh the show is a lot more, there's a lot more ruckus that happens, I would say, <laughs> in some ways than my past shows. Um, and at the same time, there's kind of a tenderness in the room uh, that I have sensed for myself and for audience members that feels like we're kind of sharing something together on an emotional plane. Um, and so now more than ever, I feel somewhat, uh, almost like a civil servant in a way, to be able to travel from town to town and facilitate this space for people to be able to process and be safe in doing it and um, share, you know, some vulnerability together and be present together. It's really special. I love that. I love that. I'm so glad that you're able to get out on the road and share this record. I know you weren't able to give devotion yeah. its full due, uh, given the timing of the release of that record. And I'm so happy to see you out on the road again, playing with this wonderful band. Yes, totally. Lee Falco on the drums, Scott Kohlberg on the bass. <laughs> We've got Margaret Glassby live here in the KEXP studios. Love the new record, Echo the Diamond, out on ATO Records again. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for having us. It's to a total pleasure, and I love KEXP with all my heart. So. <laughs> I'm Cheryl Waters, so delighted to be here with Margaret Glassby today and so happy to have you with us, our wonderful listeners and viewers. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, get notification every time we launch a new video and go on that discovery journey of great new music with us. If you'd like to support KEXP in that discovery, you can make a gift anytime at Listener Powered KEXP by visiting our website at kexp.org. Once again, Margaret Glassby live in the KEXP studios. Big thank you. Thank you. This is KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.